I'm eating these faux bacon bits that my mother-in-law introduced me to that are actually made out of coconut. In vegetarian cooking, let's be honest, you're not going to replicate a slab of bacon, but a smoky little crispy bit that's great on salads and... Well, that's just it. What else do people put bacon bits on? So that's where I got the idea for this recipe. What can I put bacon bits on? Or faux bacon bits? And then it came to me. Potato skins! And then I started wondering even further. In vegan and vegetarian cooking, whenever there's meat or dairy products, they always seem to involve some sort of soy product that's already made for you from the grocery store. And I started thinking, could I make every single bit of potato skin completely homemade, no soy cheese thing that's already made in the grocery store? Yes, you can. I figured it out. These potato skins are potatoes, cheese sauce made with cashews, bacon bits made out of coconut, and sour cream made with cashews. And if you use the right condiments and other flavorings along the way that I recommend and you choose the right products that are soy and wheat free, the entire thing can be done soy free, gluten free, dairy free, however you want it, completely vegan, completely homemade, all natural from your own kitchen. And they'll be great on game day. Set oven to 325. In a mixing bowl, combine one tablespoon soy sauce, one tablespoon maple syrup, one tablespoon of liquid smoke, a half tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, and a half tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. Give it a quick whisk. Add a cup and a half of unsweetened flaked coconut and mix until everything is coated with the seasoning. Spread evenly over a parchment lined baking sheet. Put in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes. You will need to check it every three to five minutes and move everything around a bit to make sure that all the pieces get cooked evenly. When they're a nice golden brown, salt lightly and let cool for about 10 minutes. If you store them in the freezer, they'll stay nice and crispy. Cashews can be soaked for any amount for a few hours or even overnight. For this recipe, we'll be using a cup and a half. In a blender, combine one half cup of the cashews, a dash of apple cider vinegar, a squeeze of lemon, and a pinch of salt. Blend thoroughly. Shake and stir as much as you need to until it's nice and smooth. This can be stored in the fridge for about a week. Cut six to eight medium-sized potatoes in half and arrange on a baking sheet. Place in a 400 degree oven for about 40 to 50 minutes. Cool until they're easy enough to handle. Cut out a generous circle of each potato. Save the inner parts to be used with your cheese sauce. Lightly cover the bottom of a medium saucepan with olive oil. Add one half of a small diced onion, salt lightly, and let it sweat for about two minutes or so. Add a clove of minced garlic and let it cook for another two minutes or so. Add generous amounts of cumin, paprika, and garlic powder. Add the remaining one cup of cashews and let that all cook for another couple minutes. the saved part of your potatoes, a half cup of water, and a half cup of the milk of your choice. Give it a good stir. Cover and let it come to a low boil. Let it cool ever so slightly until it's ready to be put into a blender. Blend thoroughly and add the following until it has the taste and texture you desire. Turmeric, sriracha or your favorite hot sauce, basic white vinegar, and water a little at a time. I used about three-fourths of a cup. When it looks and tastes like cheese sauce, you're ready. Fill each potato skin with the cheese sauce and top with the coconut bacon bits. Put under a low broiler for only about four to five minutes. Place a little scoop of the cashew sour cream on each. Sprinkle a little parsley, chives, or scallions for a little touch of green and you've got yourself homemade vegan potato skins.